Peace, family. All right, so today I want to quickly answer a question. As you can see, you know, I'm still, well, you can't see, but I'm actually still on vacation. But I'm still answering your question because I want to be able to help you out. All right, so the question I was asked is, well, can I just send uh, my dispute letters out via standard mail instead of uh, certified mail so I won't have to pay the $3.60 something cents um, to send them out? Can I just send them out via standard mail? And my answer to that is no. And I would not suggest that you send anything out via standard mail only because if you do that, you actually cannot track your package. You cannot track your letters. And if you can't track your letters, then what will happen is that the credit bureaus will likely not respond to you. And you don't even have proof that they received your letters. And so then you'll be waiting 30, 45 days uh, to hear a response from them. And yet they don't ever respond to you. And so then you'll be frustrated and you'll be wondering why, uh, why they haven't actually responded to you. And the reason why is because they received your letters, but at the same time is that they feel as though that because you don't have proof that the letters actually were sent off because you don't have a tracking number, then they will not respond to you. They will likely not respond to you. Sometimes they will, sometimes they won't, depending on their, how they're feeling at that particular time. So what I would suggest you do is send out your letters via certified mail and get your tracking receipt. You can track your dispute letters to make sure that they received it. And if they don't respond, then you can actually use the 30 and 60 day no response dispute letters that are in my diamond and ruby package. So if you have any questions, feel free to contact me, but make sure to send your letters out via certified mail, not standard mail. Um, I know you wanna save money, but at the same time as that, you don't want to go down that route because then you, you have already gotten your dispute letters notarized, 10 to $15, in some cases $20 per signature, and then you'll send them off uh, via standard mail and yet you don't even have proof that, that they received it. And so you don't wanna waste that money. So I would suggest that you send it out via certified mail that's so you know that they received it and if they don't respond to you, then by law, they're actually supposed to be penalized for that and you can actually use my dispute letters to show and prove that according to the federal law that they are actually supposed to respond to you. So I just want to answer that question because I know that some people, they, they have asked me that question in the past. So I want to be able to relay that point to you. So if you have any questions, feel free to contact me at credithealing at gmail.com or you can go get your dispute letters from www.credithealing.org. All right, family, so you all have a blessed day and be good and get those derogatory items deleted. Peace.